Hi, in this session, we will see the form interface and the global definition in a smart form. Okay, so go to a smart form, click on change mode. Here you can see the form interface and the global definition. So before going into this, as you know, so every smart form required a driver program to, to run that smart form. Okay, so through driver program, we can pass the variables, the structures or tables as an input to the smart form. Okay, let's say you're creating a purchase order smart form. So you can simply pass from the driver program either the purchase order number. A smart form will accept that purchase order number as an importing parameter. And you can write the compute logic in the smart form that can be displayed on the layout. Second, we can write compute logic in the driver program and we can pass the purchase order number along with all the tables that can be EKKO, EKPO, LFA1. The all tables we can pass as an input to the smart form. And without writing any code in the smart form, we can just display the values from the received tables and variables on the layout. Okay, so in the form interface, you can see the import parameter. This value will come from the driver program. So let's declare one value as IP underscore EBELN. I'm taking just only the purchase order number as an input from this uh, smart form or from the driver program. This will type as EBLN. Okay, we can make as pass by value or optional. If you want to pass the table from the driver program, then in the tables, you have to mention the table name and the type. Okay. Now, as we have declared the EP, IP underscore EPLN, that is a purchase order number input in parameter. Now, let's do some data declaration. So, in the global definition, we can declare the global variables that is nothing but a data declaration that can be a variable that can be a structure or a table in the type we can do the type declaration in the field symbol just like we use the field symbol in a back so we can use the field symbol here in the initialization block, in this tab, we can write the complete logic. So all the importing parameters that we are going to use here, that importing parameters will be mentioned here. And the exporting parameter on the right hand side. We can also write the form routines, which we want to use in the program. That can be used, the form routine can be used here. And the quantity currency field, if you are using any quantity currency field which have mentioned that field name which is declared here in the global data that field name you have to display on the left hand side and the corresponding type you have to mention here so system utterly assign the properties of that field okay now let's go to global data so as we have already declared the gs underscore ekko type this now we'll take as uh, the ekpo let's say gt underscore ekpo type a standard table of ekpo declare one work area for the ekpo type ekpo now uh, let's declare some type declaration for the vendor name Just like app coding, we can do here. Begin of TP underscore LFA one. End of TP underscore LFA one. Lifner. Type Lifner. Take name one. As type name one. Okay. 
so we have done a type declaration now difference to this type will create a work area and the internal table gs underscore lfa1 type tp underscore I think I've done LFA one, lift and I think LFA one, okay. Type TP underscore LFA one. Now GTL, okay, we can only work area. We don't require the table here. Okay, because we can only work area. If you want to declare table, then with the same type, type is standard table of mention the type name. Okay, now go to initialization. Here we are getting the purchase order number as the input parameter. So type that here EB ELN and in the output we have already have the, the header table. We'll add a line term one that is GT underscore EKPO and GS underscore. KPO. Okay, come in all this block because we are not working on this right now. Now we can write complete logic here select single or from EKKO into corresponding fields of gs underscore ekko where epl equal to this value okay now if gs underscore ekko epln is not initial then first Select Lifner name one from LFA one into GS underscore LFA one where Lifner equal to EKKO Lifner. Then we set the line term now select all from gt underscore kpo into corresponding fields of table gt underscore ekpo where epl n equal to this is our header table epln okay what we have done first we have selected the header data then Vendor name, then the P item. Now here you can see the error message JS underscore LFA one is unknown because here I not declared the JS underscore LFA one, even though it is there in the global declaration. But this is systematically the error message. If you're not mentioning that here. We just have to add that set check gt underscore ekpo is not defined gt underscore ekpo already have here ekpo go to global data gt underscore ekpo Type standard table of EKPO. What is the mirror message? Go back. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Select single all from EKPO into corresponding fields of table GT underscore EKPO. Now save. Check. Again, give me the message. This is the complete ABAP coding. Okay, this is complete above coding which we write in the AC38. That complete logic we can write in the initialization block. Okay, now what we'll do go to 
let's go to M823 and this is the purchase order number go to SE16 AKPO what we'll do we'll print the value we'll write some logic go to header table that is AKKO here we are having to purchase order value in the field let's say RLWRT okay this is the purchase order value now we'll write some form routine to display this value in the local currency uh, in the world okay for that go to the form routine first declare the global data let's say gv underscore amount that will be take as cat 200 okay now go to form routine go to form routine here write a form just we are writing in the web code form that is amount to word using amt changing word okay now what i want to do as an input i will be getting the values amount and we want to convert that into word okay so in the form routine we are adding this form and to add any function module we have to click here that is a statement structure in the call function enter the function model name so i am using the function model name hr underscore i underscore change underscore i inner words okay. here pass the amount and in return we'll get the value in word save check activate again go to initialization now what we write here perform that is amt2 word using gs underscore pkko what is the field name rlwrt that is RLWRT and changing GV underscore what is the field name amount GV underscore amount now we have to add that here save check activate okay so what we have done we have first seen the form interface passing for the importing parameter then in the global definition we have declared some variables structure and table in the type declaration we have done the type declaration for the vendor name fill symbol we not use that will see in the actual program in the initialization we can write a complete block in the form routine we have written the form routine currency field okay as of now i'm not using that we'll see in the next session now what we'll do go to the text element create one text element now let's say your number your number now second is vendor third we write the word total PO value in words okay now here we have to see PO number for that go to this fill list go to global data Here we have the gs underscore ekko select the ebln 
drag and drop on the screen okay now second we have the vendor drag and drop diffner here give space take the name my total pure value in words you can directly drag and drop from here or just go to the insert field here g underscore amount cell check activate execute now here we have to pass the purchase order number we copy this execute so you can see the peer number the vendor and total PA value in words that is 23 lakh rupees that you have done to the form routine okay so in this way we have seen the form interface and the global definition okay so in this way we have finished this session in the next uh, session we will see the flow logic that is in the flow logic we will see how to use the alternative loop program lines and command that we will see in the next session thank you